Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to do a plan with me in my simplified planner um, for Monday, December 9th through, let's see, Sunday, December 15th. Um, before I get started, you guys, have if you've watched my videos the last couple days and you know where this is headed, but I just want to just be really clear with you guys and make sure that everybody knows what's going on. Um, so before we get into the actual plan with me and setting stuff up, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, we did have a little bit of a baby scare. Basically, um, I was having contractions and there was a possibility that she was going to come a couple days ago. So... Um, everything is so far so good. Um, I haven't really been having contractions anymore and we're just hoping that we can get to the 36 week mark because at that point my doctor said that we wouldn't have to have her in the NICU as long as everything is okay. So anyway, she may come soon. She may come December 30th. I don't know, but because of the insert uncertainty and just feeling like I need to prep everything, um, I am planning to release new releases, so February kits. Um, my plan is December 12th, but it may be the 13th. And then my shop will be closed. It will be on vacation until after the baby is born, starting on December 15th. So there's going to be a small window where February stuff will be like open, ready to go. Um, and obviously there'll be some type of discount because it is my one year anniversary, um, with my shop in December. So super exciting, but I just want you guys to know, to mark that on your calendar, keep an eye out for that. I don't want you guys to miss it. And I don't want people to like be scrambling cause they don't have kits for January or whatever else. Um, so just definitely, definitely, definitely mark your calendars for that. Keep an eye out. If you want to buy stuff, pick it up before the shop goes on vacation. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So um, this week I have lots and lots of things going on. The first thing that I like to do is just kind of mark my work and this may change uh, depending on how things go the next couple of days and even my doctor's appointment. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and put work in. So I do have meetings on Tuesday, so I'm going to be going in and I think I'm going to be working from home on that Thursday because Macy does have a um, Christmas program. I feel like I'm seriously um, like running out of breath as I'm filming. So sorry if I don't make sense and sorry if I sound winded because I am. Okay. So this is going to be work from home. I personally just like to draw in these lines so I have a clear picture of my day and then I fill in any meetings or anything else afterwards. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab these little dots. Okay, so on, one, on Monday... I have my accounting meeting at 10.30. We did not have it last week, so we might have it this week. And then um, I do have a doctor's appointment at 11.40. So this will be my 36 week appointment and really like where I need, like I need to get to 36 weeks um, so I can get past that little hump of her potentially having to go to the NICU. Um, I'm assuming Jason and Macy will come with me so um, I'm going to just put in lunch with them. And then Jason does have work that day so I will be leaving at 3. Okay, so that's going to be Monday. Tuesday, I have a tax meeting at 9 a.m.
and then I have another meeting at 10 a.m. Um, so that's pretty much it. I may go to lunch with a friend of mine, um, but for right now, that's kind of it there. Wednesday, the only thing that's going on is that Macy has swim. That's it. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to put this in because I think that we are going to be switching her swim to the daytime um, next week because it's just a lot having her go to swim at nighttime when it's so close to her bedtime. And um, with just with the baby coming and stuff, we figured we'd switch it to the day so that she has something to do during the day. Um, on Thursday, though, she does have a... Um, Christmas program so I believe that starts at 10 so um, I will be working from home that day so that I can attend that all the parents are invited um, and stuff like that so it'll be it'll be good and then on Saturday um, on Saturday Jason and Macy will probably be going to something called downtown day it's something that all of our family kind of does together I will not be going because <laughs> I don't think walking around in the cold is a good idea for me at this time, um, but I will, it'll be good because I could hopefully get a lot of stuff done. And then um, 10 a.m. we'll have church. And I'm just going to put um, up at the top here, shop on vacation because like I said sometime this day the shop will be on vacation and it just kind of depends on like what is happening I may want to have all the orders out this day so it might happen in the morning so again if you want to pick stuff up I just definitely recommend picking it up ahead of time that's my main main thing um, originally I had it planned that I would release stuff on the 15th and then just kind of stay open until close December 30th. And I don't know what I was thinking because babies can come at any time and I just don't think that's a great idea. So um, that's kind of that. So we do have a really fun week ahead. Lots of meetings for me, which will be interesting. I am working from home the next couple of days. Today is Wednesday when I'm filming this and Thursday and Friday I'm working from home just to be um, somewhere where like if I'm starting to feel like I'm having contractions again I can lay down um, just for a little bit or like put a heating pad on my back because I've been having a lot of like back contractions um, but basically I've just kind of realized that I need to slow down I have been non-stop going and I think maybe the like contractions and stuff I again my doctor says there's nothing that I did that could cause um, you know the issues that we've had but I just feel like I need to personally slow down otherwise um, she'll come earlier than what she really needs to come so I think closing the shop early and you know just prepping for the baby is the best thing that needs to happen right now so again please 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 mark your calendars and put that stuff out I just I really don't want to run into a situation where people are caught off guard or like messaging me and saying oh I really wanted to pick something up like is there any way you can send it to me um, because I feel bad saying no, but I have to at this point, like, you know, I, I can't reopen the shop once it's closed. I need to just have it closed so that going into labor, I am not stressed about Etsy. Like that's my main thing. So just kind of keep an eye out for the new releases, keep an eye out for all of that. I will post 
I will talk about it in pretty much every video in the beginning and I will also post on Instagram so if you guys want to check that out definitely check it out. Um, I will be 36 weeks on December 9th so after that she said my doctor was saying that as long as everything's okay the baby wouldn't have to be in the NICU which is great um, but I will also start going to doctor's appointments every week so um, I will probably have another appointment the following Monday and then the following Monday and then um, at that point I think the Monday after would be the day that I would potentially get induced so um, lots of fun stuff happening but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for your support thank you for understanding again if you want to pick up stickers definitely put that on your calendar I just don't want you guys to miss out and thank you guys so much for just working with me and being patient because I know um, I know that it's not like the most ideal situation but um, that's kind of what happens with small Etsy, Etsy shops and having babies and stuff. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.